Hey y'all, what's up? It's Jessica. Welcome back. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Today's video is super informal. Actually, I wasn't planning on filming today because I actually just fil filmed something for a project, but I have to do my makeup anyway, so I said, why not come here and say what's up to my girls? Chat and plan some new makeup that I got in, so it's very informal, so not planned, but we gonna get it done, all right? Your girl has been rocking this wig that she made. I made this wig two years ago, and I don't ever wear her. I don't know, I just wanted some volume, but I didn't want like the normal Afro type look that I always do. I wanted, I wanted a change, so. I'll link the video to that wig so you guys know what I'm talking about. Actually, I think in that video, I was wearing this shirt. <laughs> Before I start this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed, girl, because I'm telling you, you won't regret it. And also turn on your post notifications so you are notified every time I upload a video. That little bell. Go ahead, click it, go ahead. All right, let's dive into the video. So my skin is prepped, and actually my skin is looking a whole lot better than what it did just a few days ago. I'm going to use this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. or maybe not. The new makeup that I got in is from ColourPop and it's a cute little eyeshadow palette. And it's like perfect for fall, really giving me that fall vibe. And I wanna play in her, so that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, back to my skin. So my skin was doing the absolute most. Um, doing things that I do not approve of. As you guys know, if you've watched my video, then you know I experienced a miscarriage. But sis, what they don't tell you is your body after a miscarriage. No one explains to you about the hormonal changes your body experiences after a miscarriage, at least no one told me. So my skin literally was going through trauma, sis. Like it started to just get rough, cracky, and dry, just not cute. I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder just to prep my face. Now the base of this video is not that important because I'm not using anything too new. So yeah, my skin was looking oh so horrible and it was just, it was so sad. It was a sad sight. So I've been trying to get her back on track, back to her normal, you know, moisture balance. I've been trying to do all of that. So if you guys want a skincare video, let me know. And I've been trying to ingest things that hydrate my skin from the inside out as well because that helps too. So what I've been doing lately is mi mixing my Tinted Moisturizer by NARS. This one is their Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Mac Mar Martinique. I thought it was Macau. Martinique. And I've been mixing it with the Juvia's Place Velvet Matte Foundation in the shade Kampala. I've been mixing these two together and I like the finish because I get the hydration of the Tinted Moisturizer and the coverage of the foundation when I mix the two. So that's why, that's what I've been doing lately. And I really like how it's, I really like how it looks on my skin. But for the mo most part, but for the most part, I don't really wear foundation lately. I just have not been that girl to really like love foundation. Like I, I mean, I love foundation, but I think because my skin has been just doing cartwheels on me, that I've kind of just been like, all right, well, guess what? We not gonna put nothing on her. I've just been trying to just lay very just simple these days, very simple. And I love the way they blend together. It blends really, really well. But this is my complexion so far. Love the coverage. And now I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting. Do I have to say this, the whole name? This Too Faced Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. I think that might be a good shade. I'm not doing the most today. Just something simple because I really want to play in this eyeshadow palette that I have. I feel like I'm kind of out of the loop of what's new in makeup. Like besides the stuff that gets sent to me, it's been a while since I've actually just gone to like Sephora or Ulta and just explored makeup. Usually when I go in there it's for like a specific item but I miss the days where I would just go in there and just explore new things that I didn't know about and different drugstores and exploring like the new makeup that is out. I just feel like I'm just so out of the loop. I'm trying to get my life together, guys. I'm trying to get back into the normal, regular Jessica. And then for contour, I'm just gonna go in with this Fenty stick. I haven't used this in a while, so I'm gonna bring it out. I can't believe I still have this thing. <laughs> 
I got this when it first launched and I still have it. Is that sanitary? All right, so this is my complexion. I am going to go ahead and move on, complete the rest so we can get into these eyeshadows. All right, so I'm back and I put some loose powder under my eye because we're gonna be playing in this eyeshadow palette. So this is the whatever eyeshadow palette that ColourPop came out with. I believe this is for fall because it does scream fall like OMG. I think the packaging is so cute and I love the colors. Like these colors are me. Simple everyday, very like muted mauve colors that you can wear for fall. You have some everyday um, mauve colors. You have some matte, some glitter and shimmer. So I think this is a perfect everyday grab on the go. Um, basic eyeshadow palette for fall and I'm gonna play in her right now so I'm not sure what look I'm going to do but first I am going to prime my eyes I'm going to take this concealer by Fenty in the shade 410 and I literally don't know what look I'm doing so wish me luck this is actually like a full collection so I have the eyeshadow it comes with some blushes too I have a bunch of different blushes here I'm not going to show all of it because I'm only going to show the ones that I'm actually going to use it also comes with some very pretty lip glosses so I'm excited to play in these as well I'm gonna start with the shade right here called pass it on and I'm just gonna put this as my transition color I love these warm orange shades in my crease because I feel like they just transition well and actually it's like one of my favorite shades to play with because they're so simple like anybody can just throw this on and look put together can we talk about how ColourPop does not play when it comes to eyeshadow palettes like they really don't <laughs> I feel like every time I blink, they're coming out with a new palette. And then I'm gonna go in with this brick color right here in the shade Bad Guy. I think that would be cute in the outer crease. Just on the outer V and then kind of bring that in just a tad bit. Okay, so I am gagging to play in this glitter, but I just don't know if she's going to be a mess because we don't need that. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Not Okay and i'm going to put that on my lid and if she's just a oh she's pretty okay it's a gorgeous coppery shade like this is true copper very very copper and i do like it and did you guys see how pigmented this is like you don't need to wet your brush or anything like that this goes on so bomb colourpop has some of the best eyeshadows i'm just saying like some palettes I've tried that are a lot more expensive don't go on as pigmented as this one does. Like you have to wet your brush and do all those steps and sometimes you just don't have the time or you don't feel like it. It's giving me very like sunset vibes. Now, I'm scared, but I feel like I need to get a little bit out of my comfort zone. Just, just, just. think I'm gonna go in with Duh, which is that glitter, you see it? That is real glitter, like real glittery. And I just want to put her just just a little razzle dazzle, you know, like why not? I low key kind of am digging it just, just a bit. Like I wasn't trying to do anything too extra, but I think this is a simple extra, like it's not doing too much. I definitely got some glitter fallout everywhere. Was not planning on having glitter all over my face. Okay, so I like the glitter, but it does kind of go everywhere, and I'm not a fan of that. Like, I really just wanted it on the lid, but she kind of carried her way up. So now I'm going to take the shade Tardy, and I'm going to put it in my inner corner for a slight highlight, and I'm going to slightly line my eye. I'm gonna go back into bad guy just to kind of smoke that bottom lash line a bit and then I'm gonna go into the shade pass it on to blend that out all right so I threw on some lashes I think that kind of helped the look come together I wasn't planning on wearing lashes but girl <laughs> and now I'm just dusting off that excess powder that we had on our face okay so we're gonna finish the rest of the complexion with some of the color pop blushes that I received within that collection. These are their Super Shock Cheek and they are matte. So now it's all about finding the right shine. I love this one. This one is in the shade She. She's in bold and it's a cute coral peach. And then this one is Underclassman and this is like a terracotta. So 
Let's see which one is going to look right on me. I think I'm going to go on with this one. She's bold and I'm going to see what that does. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a subtle corally peach, but I see her. I really like that they came out with blushes for this collection. So you have like corresponding blush shades that go with the palette. And I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, I want to say there's six blushes, but don't quote me on it. Okay, so to highlight, I'm just going to go into this very used, very loved, okay, MAC highlight in the shade Glow With It. I use this all the time. Ooh, let me take these clips off. I'm getting excited. All right, so it's lip time. Time to play in some lippies. I'm going to line my lips first with Chestnut by MAC. So these are all glosses. And let's try one on. Let's just see how pigmented it is because if it's sheer, then oh, this is kind of thick. All right, so I'm going to try on this gloss first. This one is in the shade Me V The World. Me V The World. I want to see how pigmented this one is. And this one is like a warm terracotta-ish brown. So let's put this one on. Ooh. I'm not a fan of this applicator. It's kind of messy. Don't know how I feel about that lip color. I mean, she's cute. I don't know if this is the look I'm going for. I love the fact that these glosses are so pigmented and they smell good and they're creamy. I don't know, I kind of like this shade. It's not what I envisioned. Let me try relining. Okay, y'all, this is the completed look and Actually, this look grew on me, girl. It grew on me. I didn't, I'm not gonna lie, I was not a fan at first of this look, but after, you know, putting that lippy on, it really did come together. I really do love this lip color. So fall forward, yes. I really enjoyed this palette right here. I cannot wait to do more looks with this one, but my faves are the matte shades and this copper one right here. The glitter. I don't know if I was such a fan of the glitter shade, but I'm definitely a fan of everything else in this palette. I think I just have to kind of play around with glitter more. I'm just not a glitter girl. I don't really do a lot of glitter, especially on my eyes, because they get in my eye and that's annoying. But other than that, I love the fact that this is such a palette that, it's such a Jessica palette. Normally when I'm doing my makeup, especially like everyday looks, I tend to go with like terracotta shades or like mauve shades and that's just literally what I put on my lid and I go. So I love that about it. So I definitely would suggest trying this out if you aren't in or if you are in the market for like a fall palette that you want to just slide in your little collection real quick. Definitely try this one because I think it's such a cute palette and look at that that packaging Isn't this so like 90s clueless vibes? That's what I'm getting super shock blushes surprised me because I'm not going to lie Some of the shades were just kind of like a no for me as pretty as they are They just wouldn't show up on my skin tone like this shade right here here called too cool for school like it's gorgeous but on me it would be just too like you can barely see that Almost dropped my life. But you can barely see that right there, see? So on me that wouldn't work, but the shade that I did try out worked perfectly. I think that made this look very like warm because again, I wasn't trying to do the most and I feel like this this is very still kind of simple. It's like a basic glam look. So I love, I love the formula. Like these are so soft and smooth, like so soft and smooth. So I do love the Super Shock blushes because I just feel like they apply easily with a brush, with your fingers, either or, it's amazing. And finally, can we talk about these glosses? Because sis, I was very surprised. I was going to go ahead and put on a lipstick first and then put on the gloss on top because I assumed that these would be sheer, no coverage. <laughs> What Colourpop said, stop assuming, okay? Sit down, Jessica, stop making assumptions and just try us. I love these. These are definitely gonna be in the clutch for my fall lippy, like when I'm just, whenever. <laughs> I love the fact that these glosses are so smooth, so pigmented, so rich, not sticky. 
because normally when you get glosses like this they tend to be sticky and that's just not a great formula these are super smooth they um smell amazing and i love the fact that they are just so pigmented like i wasn't expecting that at all definitely you gotta try these like you have to try these i cannot wait to do like oh like the nudes the i'm here I'm here for it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what other videos you would like to see from me. This hair, get used to her cause she gonna be out for a minute. The edges are frizzing up though, but that's a, that's a different story. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up if you are feeling this look. Cause I am. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's pretty much where I am if you want updates. Also check the YouTube community tab because I'm always there chatting it up with you guys. Also post here on the YouTube stories, which is weird that YouTube has stories, but it's cool because I get to communicate with you guys when I'm not filming. But that is all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.